Shalom, Yasharela. Shalom. Rakat the Yahweh. Rakat the Yahweh Shai. Rakat the Yahweh Shai. Rakat the Yahweh. Rakat the Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Rakat Kadash. Noble honors and apostles and elders of great Muslim who teach one who well, who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation. Doctor and fellow laborers, a hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives from the four corners of the earth. Off with listening and listening and learning, shall I want? It's your brother Shabbat, from the pillars of Benjamin Camp, here in Toronto with another list. And uh, we'll get right into it. We'll get right into it. You know? See where the Spirit leads us. Right? We're out here to prophesy. Downfall of America the Great, Great America, Babylon the Great, the war that rideth upon a beast, week in and week out, prophesy their destruction, their downfall, right, and to, and, and to spread and to preach repentance to Israel, the house of Israel, Israel being a people before a place, before the destruction comes. Yeah, but I will go into some scripture. Right? Talk about our enemy, Esau Edom. Right? And how they make side deals and behind closed doors. Right? The Illuminati, the enlightened ones, Esau Edom, the ruling class elites. Right? Psalm 64. Right? And only enlightened because they're enlightened on the left side. Right? They're not enlightened in righteousness. Right? And they've hid the truth from Yasharala. Right? A lot's going on with these mandates. Esau's getting wickeder. Right? Didn't the king of Babylon say the other day he's running out of patience? Right? He's about to show his horns, he's about to come with the sword. Right? Psalm 64, verse 1. Hear my voice, O Yahweh, in my prayer, preserve my life from the fear, Salah, from preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Right, who's the enemy? This is a prayer of King David. Right? Praying to the Mosai Yahweh Shimi al Shai, preserve his life. Right, from the enemy. Who is the enemy? Beginning with Esau, Edom. And then these other nations, these heathen nations, right, that follow in the vibration of Esau. But the main one be Esau Edom, right? Hide me. Hide me from the secret council of the wicked, right? The secret council of the wicked. That's their behind closed doors, Illuminati, self-professed self Illuminati, enlightened ones on the left side, right? That's their agendas. Their covert ag agendas behind closed doors, right? To destroy Yasharala. Right? This is a prayer of King David, man. So unless you have that hedge around you, Yasharala, Israel being a people for a place, you won't be protected, man. You're gonna be you're gonna be slaughtered by the sword. Right? And who's the sword of the Mosai? Esau Edom, the wicked. Right, and they're about to show their horns. They're about, to, they're about to wield that sword. Psalm 17, verse 13, and it reads, Arise, O Lord, Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, right? The enemy, the wicked, cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, the wicked, Esau Edom, which is thy sword, right? So the Mosai uses Esau Edom to judge Israelites, man. Two thirds of our people. Right? And these mandates are getting stricter. Right? And he's making it more and more difficult for you to navigate. You, you Israelites, so-called so black people, so-called indigenous, so-called Latino, 
right? Making it more difficult for you to navigate in this Esau's system, the beast. Right? Psalms 83. Verse 2. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Right? The enemies make a tumult. Right? They've risen up. Right? It's an onslaught. It's an attack. Right? Beginning with Esau, Edom. All these other nations have part in it. You Moabites, you Ishmaelites, Ham, Ammon. Right? And unless you have the hedge, unless you repent, there's no escape. Room four. Right, and the vibration out here, everyone thinks everything's, uh, you know, a lot of people out here about taking the beetle juice. Not knowing that's going to get more and more draconian. Rule 4, verse 6, that it reads, right, and the most I put us in this position, under the foot of our enemy, right? You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved Yahweh to wrath, right? The most I put us in this position, under the feet of our enemies, right? Because we pissed them off, right? Not to destroy us, but to, to, to scourge us, to beat us, to afflict us, right? You were delivered unto the enemies, for you provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils, and not to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Right? And that was the main cardinal sin, man. Right? Sacrificing to devils, running after idols, man, our forefathers. Right? We're reincarnate, we are we are reincarnated as a through our forefathers, right? We're back. Right? Lamentations. Lamentations. Right? We're here to serve our bondage, but our captivity is about to turn back. Lamentations 1, verse 3. Judah, right? Southern kingdom. Right? This is the cargo slavery. Judah being the southern kingdom. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Judah has gone into captivity because of affliction. Right? But the northern kingdom as well is in affliction. When John went, went into captivity. When Christopher Cologne showed up on the stories of America, he was sending slaves, Latin tribes and indigenous, back to the mother country, Europe, their mother country, as tribute. Judah has gone into captivity because of affliction and because of great servitude. She dwelleth among the heathen, right? To this day we're amongst the heathen, man. Right? Serving out our punishment. Right? She findeth no rest, no rest, man. Continue under the yoke. Constant. All her persecutors overtook her between the streets, right? All her persecutors. The wicked, beginning with Esau, Edom, made things difficult, put her in difficulty, man. Straight being a position of difficulty. Right? This is, this is where our enemies are. Right? And trusting in this wicked, you know, two thirds of our people trust. Right? Trust in this diabolical, wicked Esau Edom, right? Whose only mission is to destroy you, man. Israel being a people before a place. You so called indigenous, you so called Latino, you so called Negro. Psalms 41. Verse 7, all that hate me whisper together against me. Against me do they devise my hurt. Right. All that hate me, man. Who hates us? The wicked. Right? Right, doesn't it say in Sirach 12, verse 10, never trust thine enemy? 
can't trust this guy, man. This guy's going on TV, has his campaign, using his media, his campaign, using his media, pushing, it's safe, it's safe. You know? But it's to the point where they're receiving so much pushback, right? They never thought, they never anticipated this much pushback. Right? A lot of, a lot of people, Jake included, is seeing, it, it has a distrust for Isai Edom. Right? Sirach 12, verse 10. And it reads, Never trust thine enemy. Right? Esau. You can't trust him. For like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. You can't trust him, man. Right? He's wicked. Right? His wickedness doesn't stop. You know, you can't stop rust on iron. Once, oxidi once it oxidizes, you can't stop rust, Bridget. You can't stop it. Just keep popping up. You can, you can, uh, you can cover it up, but you can't, you can't stuff it. Psalms 83 verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. Right? Crafty counsel. They've been subtle. They've used, they've used witchcraft. They use, they use, they use ench enchantment, enchantments. Right? They defile your food. Right? They use their media, their trickery. They defile your water. But we go to everything for Esau, man. In want, in want of everything. Right? They hid the truth. Not letting you know who you are. That's why Jake out here. That's why Jake out here. Being a brute beast. Right? They have said... Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, right? And that's what Esau did, man, with his lies, with his trickery, with his iconoclasm, right? Doesn't it say Job 9.24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked? He covered the faces of the judges. If not, who? Who is he? Right, who's the wicked? Esau, Edom. And how did he cover the judges? The faces of the judges. His iconoclasm, his, his, his renaissance movement, where he whitewashed all the images of Yahweh and the angels. Put his face in place. No other nation did this, man. Esau alone did this. Right? Job 9, verse 24. And it reads, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right? So that's what he did, man. That was how he hid the truth from Yasharala. Right? right? Jake out here has no idea, don't know who they are, right? Right, and that's why we're out here blowing the trumpet, crying aloud, sparing not, warning Jacob. Because every time the Mosai is about to make a move, he sends out his prophets. Psalms 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins, right? And that's what we're out here doing. Telling Yasharala, Israel being a people before a place, right? Telling you to, you know, get right. Judgment is coming. Right? Nuclear destruction is coming. Right? The MOTB is coming. Right? Psalm 83, verse 5. For they have consulted together with one consent. Right? So all these nations have consulted together with one consent. What's that consent? Keep Yasharala oppressed. Destroy them. Right? Israel being a people before a place. Not the 1948ers, man. Right? We're talking about you so-called indigenous, you so-called Latino, you so-called so Negro. Right? One consent. All of them. Confederate against you. Right? Meaning joined together. Right? Verse 5, 83, verse 5, once again. Psalms 83, verse 5. For they have consulted together with one consent. That consent to be the, to destroy you, Israelites. Right? They are confederate against thee, meaning they've, jo they've joined themselves together. Right? Verse 6. The tabernacles of Edom, right? The so-called white man. The ruling class elites. Right? Malachi 1. 
Verse 2, verse 1. The burden of the word of Yahweh to Israel by Malachi. Right, once again, establishing that the Mosai Yahweh Shem Yahushai is talking to Israel, Israel being a people for a place, through his prophets. In this instance, Malachi. Right? He ain't, he ain't talking to nobody else. Right? It's all throughout the scriptures. I have loved you, said Yahweh. Right? Israel. Israel being a people for a place. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, said Yahweh? Yet I love Jacob? Right. So there's separation right there. The Most High loves Jacob. Israel being a people before a place. And he hates Esau. Esau. Edom. They're interchangeable. Esau is Edom. Edom is Esau. Right? The Most High is telling you straight right here. He hates Esau. And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. By ultimately destruction. For America the Great, Babylon the Great. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the destined places. Right, and this is the Renaissance. This was their rise up. Their Renaissance meaning to renew. This is where they cut this is where they came back into power. Right? They shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. Right. So the wicked is Esau. And the people against whom Yahweh hath indignation forever. Indignation forever. Mosai has indignation towards Esau Edom forever. Indignation is righteous anger. Anger. And they will be Esau will be judged. And how's Esau going to be judged? Thermonuclear intercontinental ballistic missiles are going to lay waste to America the Great. Proverbs 3. Verse 33. And it reads, The curse of Yahweh is in the house of the wicked. Right? The wicked. Esau Edom. But he blesses the habitation of the just. Right? Now let. Right? Mosai hates the wicked. Loves his righteous, the elect. We'll go into some more of Edom, who they are. Right? The book of Revelation. Verse 20. And it reads, Revelation 20, verse 1. And I saw an angel, it's a vision of, of John the Revelator, Revelator, right? While he was on the Isle of Patmos, these are visions he received from the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And he wrote them in a book, the book of Revelation, meaning to reveal. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit. And a great chain in his hand, right? And that bottomless pit is Europe. Right? Because it has no resources, because it has none of its own resources. Right? And he laid hold on the dragon, right? The dragon being Esau. In this case, the, 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 the Roman Empire, the Western Roman Empire, right? Right? This is during the Byzantine, Byzantine era, right? And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, right, Esau, and Satan, the spir his spiritual counterpart. So Esau, the devil is the physical counterpart of Esau, and Satan is, a, is the, the, the spiritual counterpart of Esau, the wicked. And bound him a thousand years, right, that's the Dark Ages, right? That, that a thousand year period where Esau was, was, was in subjection, 
underneath the Moors, who are Israelites, but they're worshiping is Islam, right? And cast them into the bottomless pit, right? Cast them into Europe in the Renaissance, and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season, right? And we're in that little season right now where he's gone forth deceiving. Right, we mentioned in Job 9 and 24, the earth is given over in the hand of the wicked. So this is that little season where he's gone forth deceiving and lying, right? And hiding the truth. Right, with his false religions, right, his covering caste, right, his bywords, right. That's what Isa did, man. That's why two thirds of people don't know nothing, have no idea. Right, but we're in the process right now where Jake's waking up. That's the lit. And blowing the trumpet out here on these highways, these hedges, during the week, during the week, by, by way of uh, uh, video epistles, right? Spreading the gospel, man. Telling Jake of the good news. Whether he'll hear her for beer, right? Whether they're saying Ezekiel 3, verse 17. Whether they'll listen or not, man. You can all, you, you can just tell Jake. Jake, walk by, Jake walks by here all the time. You know, and they look. Right? They look at us like we're crazy. A spectacle on the men. Right? But this pleased the most high. Ezekiel 3, verse 17, and it reads, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman. Right? Election's gonna be out here being the watchman, blowing the trumpet, right? Pushing the word of Yahweh Bishmiel Shai, right? We're just vessels, we're just the mouthpieces. But these words out of these scriptures are the, are, are, are the words of Yahweh Bishmiel Shai. Yahweh being the Father, meaning He exists. Yahweh Shai being the Son, meaning He delivers, He saves. The Father and the Son. That's their names in ancient Hebrew. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Right? We're only warning. We're only this. This word is only for for, 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 for Israel. Israel being a people before a place. Nobody else. Yeah, when he does roll up, we, we we tell them about their uh, their future and where they're going. But this word, salvation, right? Repentance. We're out here. We're out here preaching repentance, teaching repentance, teaching salvation. To Israel, the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. Right? These are the words of Yahweh B'shem Yahushai. Right? Isaiah 62, verse 7. Isaiah 62. Verse 6. I have set I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, right? Who are the watchmen? The elect. Out here in the highways and the hedges. Right? Upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, right? To, 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 to tell Yashar Allah to repent. Israel being a people before a place. Which shall never hold their peace day and night. Ye that make mention of Yahweh, keep not silence, right? Non-stop. But these epistles during the week, the sit-downs during the week, the lessons, it's non-stop, man. We're not holding our peace, and we're not gonna stop. It says here we're gonna hold our peace non-stop. We're not gonna hold our peace night, day, day nor night. Ye that make mention of Yahweh, keep not silence. We're not gonna keep silence. Why? And give him no rest. Till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth, right? 
until he comes back, Yahweh Shai, comes back and cracks the skies and reestablishes Israel, right, on this earth. The kingdom of heaven will be on the earth, right? That's the only time that, that's the only time they'll elect, Lord willing of that number, the hopeful elect. That's the only time we, we, we'll, have, we'll have rest, right? Stop. Job 27, verse 13. Right? We're going to go into Esau some more. Benjamin waving. Uh, yeah. Need to come and hear this word, man. Okay? This is the portion of a wicked man with Yahweh and the heritage of oppressors, which they shall receive of the Almighty. Right? What's going to happen to Esau? What's his portion? If his children be multiplied, it is for the sword, and his offspring shall not be satisfied with bread. Right? That is the that is the oh, that is the future of Esau. Right? Our course slavery. Thus saith Yahweh. Right? Another precept. Another precept. Isaiah 14, verse 21, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, right, Esau. Prepare slaughter for Esau, Edom. Why? The iniquity of his fathers. Esau's quick to say, I wasn't there, I didn't do it, I didn't participate, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't commit those atrocities, right? But the scriptures show us time and time again, right, the reincarnation. Right, the sins of the father. Let's get it. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. Right, and this is what's going to happen to Esau Edom. Right. Exodus 20, verse 5. This is one of the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, Yahweh, thy power, am a jealous power, right? That's idol worship. Visiting the iniquities of the fathers, right? The sin upon sin, right? Checking the iniquities, visiting the iniquities, the sin upon sin of the fathers, right? Upon the children, unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, right? That's reincarnation, right? So when Esau says, I, I wasn't there, I didn't do it, it's a crock of shit. Right? Just go to the scriptures and show them. Right? There's no escape. Two thirds gonna get it. And the wicked gonna get it. As well as these heathen nations. Psalms 109, verse 14. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered with Yahweh, and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Right. So, Esau's got a big, 
Isa got held to pay, man. Isaiah 14, verse 22. For I will rise up against them. Right? The Most High gonna rise up against Isa, the wicked. Said Yahweh of hosts, and cut out from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, Seth Yahweh. Right? All y'all gonna get cut out. Your son, your nephew, your niece, your mother, your father. Right? Hardcore slave. Bondage for a thousand years. And then Obadiah 18. Right? And what's gonna happen in America? I will also make it a possession for the bitter. Right? Bitter is a uh, desert animals. If I'm not mistaken, it's porcupine. And pools of water, and I will sweep it with the besom of destruction, said Yahweh of hosts, right? And that besom of destruction is a lake of fire, right? Caused by the ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles, right? This is what's called, this, this is a merit, this, this is what's coming from Babylon the Great. America the Great. chapter 4 verse 29 and it reads for he that hath brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy again with your salvation right so Israel is about to be beginning with the elect is about to be delivered man their salvation right Israel's been catching hell Israel being a people for a place been catching hell right but it's about to flip Lamentations 4 verse 22 right Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Right? Deliverance is coming for Yahshua, beginning with the elect. Two thirds of our people are going to be destroyed. Right? Right? Whether it be by plague, whether it be by famine, whether it be by sword, whether it be by, whether it be by the ICBMs, ultimately, the intercontinental ballistic missiles. Right? Two thirds are going to be destroyed. Verse 31. Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall, right? Esau, he, he miserable, and he's gonna get more miserable. Miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Miserable is, is she that received thy sons, right? Hardcore slavery, right? The diaspora, the slave trade, the genocide, the genocide of the, of the, of the northern kingdom, right? Being sent to, the, the, to Europe. Being sent, being, sent, being sent to America the Great, Babylon the Great, the yokes of iron, right? Esau, Esau, Esau is about to get miserable, man. Right? We already see the vibration of misery on, on, on America the Great, Babylon the Great. Right? They touched the apple of Yahweh Shimei al Shai's eye, man. For as she rejoiced, at thy ruin, and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. Right? Destruction's coming from America the Great. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. Right? This is what's coming from America the Great. This is what's coming. Right, and we see, we see, uh, we see the misery starting, man. Famine's coming. Right? 
people against people's coming, class wars is coming. We see it all the time. I was watching an article this morning over there in Australia. The Australians are going wild, man. Fighting police. Right? Over over the over the mandates, over Esau, Esau Edom's draconian measures, man. Second Ezra 8 verse 50, and it reads, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world, right, and we're in the latter time. We're in the end. And the prophecies are speaking, man. This is a time of prophecy. Right? And that's how, that, and that's, we're, we're occupied in prophecy. This is a time of prophecy. We're occupied in prophecy. Us and the truth, you're not supposed to be doing nothing else, man, but prophesying. Right? Elder Apostle Gabar says, each time, each time we speak, right, a little bit more of Babylon crumbles, man. A little bit more of America the Great crumbles. We're supposed to be occupied in prophecy. Let's get that. Because they have walked in great pride, right? No one's prouder than America the Great. Man. Right? Sirach 30, 39, verse 9. And this is the spirit we're supposed to be in, man. Occupied in prophecy. Blowing the trumpet. Prophesying the downfall of this wicked kingdom. Right? Babylon the Great. America the Great. Sirach 39 verse 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of Yahweh and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancients and be occupied in prophecy. Right? So you give with your mind to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Right? You're just going to be occupied in prophecy, man. Blowing the trumpet day and night, giving no rest. Giving no rest, right? And we're about to see this devil show his horns even more. He knows he got but a short time, right? These mandates are about to break wide open, right? Here where we are, it's election week, man, right? A new, a new, a new leader, so-called leader, is about to be elected, man. Wait until we see what kind of horns, what kind of plans. Hey, you know you're an Israelite, right? You know you're an Israelite? Right? Babylon the Great. Babylon the Great. We're about to see the horns here, man. We don't even know what this uh this leader have in store, man. Right? But we know it's the will of the Most High, Yahweh Bishim El Shai, and nobody else. Right? It's the will of the Most High, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Right? It says in Proverbs 21, the heart of the king. Let's get that. Right? It's about to get more draconian. Right? And it's gonna lead, it's gonna lead to the mark of the beast, which is the microchip, spoken about in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. Repent. Proverbs 21, verse 1, and it reads, The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh, as the rivers of water, he turneth it whichsoever he will. Right? So no matter who's in rulership, man, he does the will of the most high. The good or the bad. The Most High is in control of both sides, the left and the right. Daniel 2, verse 21. And he changes the times and the seasons. He removes kings. Who does that? The Most High, right? So whoever, whoever gets voted in in this in this in this this coming week, it's the will of the Most High, right? And setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise, and knowledge to them that know understanding, right? The Most High. He's in control. Right? 
in control. And it's about to get wicked out here, man. Right? They're about to strip more, more rights. Right? I did a, uh, I read an article this morning. I, I spoke on it this morning. Uh, Italy. Their mandates. They're demanding uh, the Beetlejuice documents. No ifs, and or buts. But, no ifs, and or buts. Proverbs 20, verse 24. Man's goings are of the Lord, Yahweh. How can a man then understand his own way? Right. There's no free will, man. That's false. Right? The most I, the most I lead you whatever way, man, whether it's, whether it's the path of destruction or the path of or, 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 or the path of deliverance, man. Right? These angels on the left hand, the, the, these angels on the left hand side answer to Yahweh Right? Psalm 78, verse 49. Right? They answer to the Yahweh Bashim Shai. And it reads, and this was the time of uh, the deliverance from ancient Egypt under the hand of Moses. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and indignation, and trouble. And how did he do that? By sending evil angels among them. Right, the Mosai, Yahweh Bashim Shai. You read this to Pastor Porkchop, Waki Taki up there in the Harlot Houses. They, they don't know what to say. They, they run. They tell you you're out of contents, brother. Right? Right? Right, but the time that's coming. Repent. Okay. Daniel 12, verse 1. Right? It's about to get more draconian out here. Right? <laughs> A new election. It doesn't matter who, who's voted in. It's going to be horns regardless. It doesn't matter, man. It's going to be horns. These at least have an agenda. And they know they have a, they know they have but a short time. Revelation 12, verse 12. They know they got a short time. That's why they're pushing their agenda. Pushing, 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 man. Right? Right? Count it lucky if, if, if the months of December come by, when it's cold out here, and those that are on punch on Beetlejuice can move around freely. Right? You got these passports out now. These documents, right? It's just it's just a pre it's just a prelude, man. It's just a setup for the MOTB. Daniel 12, verse 1, and it reads, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people, right? That's how bad it's gonna get out here, man. That Michael the Archangel is gonna have to stand up for his elect for the elect. Right? And there shall be a time of trouble, right? A time of trouble. Such as never was since there was a nation, right? Like never before. Even to that same time, and at that time that people shall be delivered, right? The elect shall be delivered. The one third, the elect. Every one that should be found written in the book. Right? A time of trouble like no other. Spoken about in Matthew 24, verse 21. Yahweh Shai said this. Right? Red letter. Matthew 24. Verse 21, and it reads, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Right? People out here smug. Caught up in their folly, man. People out are feeling safe. This place is about this place. The time that is coming. Can't put it in words, man. All we can do is read these script. All we can do is read these scriptures, man. That's the best way of painting this picture of the time that's coming. Right? Right? It's gonna be so bad that the most high is gonna have to shorten the days, man. Verse 22, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, right? So if the Mosai doesn't shorten these days that are coming, these times that are coming, nobody gonna survive, man. No flesh shall be saved. That means nobody's gonna survive. 
nobody from Esau, nobody from Moab, no, no, no nation, nobody, no, no Israelite. Right? The Most High got to shorten these days. Right? For the sake of the elect, because if he let it, if the Most High let it drags on, even the elect would perish. Going in the spirit, man. Right? Sirach 36, also known as Ecclesiasticus, in the Apocrypha, which is in the Old Testament of the Scriptures. Make the time short. Remember the covenant, right? And what's the covenant? The agreement that the Most High, Yahweh B'shem Yahushai, made with the Israelites, right? Make the time short. Remember the covenant, and let them declare that wondrous, and let them, and let them declare. That wonderful works, right? We pray all the time. We throw up our prayers. Make the time short. Speed it up, right? We see, we see uh, bad news. We rejoice. We see something on uh, on the list of prophecies striked off. We rejoice, right? Sirach, Second Ezra nine, right? Measuring the time diligently, right? We see we see prophecies start to check off on the list. We rejoice, man. You know? Sirach 9. Second Ezra 8, verse 63. Behold, O Lord. Now hast thou showed me the multitude of the wonders which thou will begin to do in the last times, but at what time thou hast not showed me? Right, and this is Ezra's asking the angel, you know, you're showing me the multitude, you're showing me these wonders, these tokens, these signs, when's it going to pop off, when's it going to happen, right? He answered, 2nd Ezra 9 verse 1, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, right? So we, we're checking out these checklists and rejoicing because we're, 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 under, we're, we're understanding, it says the Most High revealeth the secrets to his prophets. So through these scriptures, we, we, the secrets are revealed. So when we see these signs, these tokens manifesting, we know it's the time that the Most High is beginning to visit this place, man. Right? That's why we rejoice. Right? For us in this truth, Lord willing, we have that number. The hopeful elect, we want out of here, man. This place is done. This place is wicked. Amos 3, verse 7, and it reads, Surely, Yahweh power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Right? And the prophets are back, man. The prophets are back in their stead, in, in, in their lot. Right? Doesn't it say Daniel? Right? Daniel seal up the book. Daniel 12. Right? The prophets are back. Doing what they did in the ancient world, man. Doing what they did in their past lives. Daniel 12, verse 13. And it reads, But go thou, but go thou thy way till the end be. But go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest. Meaning, you're gonna die, you're gonna rest in the earth. You're gonna go to you're, you're gonna go to rest in the spirit world, right? You're gonna die, be placed in the earth in the ground, and you go to you're gonna go to the spirit world, which is rest, right? And stand in thy lot at the end of days, right? That means Daniel, the spirit of Daniel is back today, right? Doing what? A prophesying, man. Right? Job, the book of Job tells you, the wicked and the righteous are there. Let's get it in the spirit world. You show this to Wacky Tacky, Harlot House, packed up like a troop, right? And he runs.
Ecclesiastes 3 verse 20. All go into one place, all are of the dust, and all turn to dust again. Right? So you go to the spirit, you go, you go to the spirit world. Job 3 verse 17. There the wicked cease from troubling, and there the worry be at rest. Right? So the wicked are there, the tired are there, right? At rest, the spirit world. There the prisoners rest together. They hear not the voice of the oppressor, right? The prisoners, right? Right? That's Yasharala, man, right? Right, we're, we're, we're prisoners in this society, right? Right, that's when we go to the spirit world. Those that die in the Mashiach, they're complaining, Revelation 6, verse 10. Complaining for the most high to avenge, to avenge, to, 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 to avenge them. Right? Verse 19, Job 3, verse 19. The small and great are there, and their servant is free from his master. Right? Everybody's in the spirit world, man. Wacky Tacky, Harlot House, Pastor Porkchop like to teach some place in the sky that you go, right? That's false, man. Right? It's showing you right here. It's showing you right here. The small and the great are there, verse 19, and their servant is free from his master. Right? And that's in the spirit world. Right? Wacky Tacky has no answers for that. None. Back to uh, Sirach. Sirach. Second Esther, chapter 9. Verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen, right, and these are some of the signs, man, that the Mosai said, to look out for in the last days, man. Right? That's why the, the, the hopeful elect, that's why we rejoice when we see when we see signs ticking off the list, man. You know what I mean? It just means that Hawashai is getting closer and closer. Right? Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and upwards of the people in the world, right? We see that, man. Earthquakes all over the place, man. Doesn't it say in Matthew 24, earthquakes in diverse places? That's earthquakes, that's earthquakes all over the place, man. Right? Upwards of people? Yo, there's upwards. On a day-to-day -day basis, there's multiple upwards of people anywhere in the world anywhere in the world, man. Right? I was watching one, I was watching one, I was watching one this morning. Right? People fighting the poll, people fighting the authorities, sedition among men. Right? In Australia. They're fed up, they're pissed off, right? And Esau about to show his horns. Verse 4, Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things, right? The Most High spoke of these things, right? These are all prophecies, man, right? From the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, right? The Most High spoke of these things through the prophets from the days that were before thee. Right? In this case, before Ezra. Right? Doesn't it say in Jer uh, Jeremiah 28, verse 8? Let's get it. And this is what we're out here doing, man. Prophesying the downfall of this place. Right? Jeremiah 28 verse 8 and it reads the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old right the prophets man each time the prophet comes back in his lot he prophesies right right of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, right? And that's what we're out here doing, man, right? Prophesying the downfall of this, of, of this wicked kingdom, man. We're prophesying World War III, which is coming, right? All these nations are, 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 are showcasing their, their, their might, you know? North Korea just launched a train launch of an ICBM, man, and they're broadcasting it, man. That's showcasing, that's showcasing their might, right? Right? 
China and Japan are about to get into it. Japan's beefing up their, their security, right? Because they don't want China invading their, their waters, right? Russia, you know Russia, God, he getting ready. Him and uh, Russia and Belarus just did a, a military exercise, right? That's where all your prophesying, man. And these things are in the prophecies. War, right? Evil and of pestilence, man. Ezekiel 35, verse 2, and it, and it reads, and this is what the prophets are doing. Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it, right? And that's what's all here in these hedges. That's, that's us during the week, through the epistles, prophesying against Mount Seir. Who's Mount Seir, man? Esau, Edom, right? Prophesying against America the Great, Babylon the Great, this wicked kingdom, man. right? Genesis thirty six verse eight and it reads Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom, right? So we're prophesying against Esau and Edom. So the ruling class elites. Right? Babylon the Great, America the Great. Amos 9 verse 8 and it reads Behold the eyes of Yahweh power are upon the sinful kingdom right the eyes of the Mosai Yahweh Shem Yahshai is on America the Great right beginning with America the Great the sinful kingdom the eyes of the Mosai Yahweh Shem Yahshai's eyes are all over the whole world but the sinful kingdom is symbolic of America the Great Babylon the Great right and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth and how is the Mosai going to do that these ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles. Thus says the scriptures, right? Let's read that again. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said Yahweh, right? The, 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 the house of Jacob, the one third, the elect. Right? Ezekiel 35, verse 3, and it reads, And say unto it, Thus saith Yahweh power, behold all Mount Seir, right, behold America, Babylon, right, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate, right, the Mosai is going to destroy America the Great, Babylon the Great. Verse 4, I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, right, the whole world going to know, right. The whole world's gonna know when when the Mosai Al Bashim Al Shai rise, rises up. To make thee a prey. Zephaniah 3, verse 8, and it reads, Therefore wait ye upon me, said Yahweh. Right. Us in this truth, the hopeful elect, we're waiting on Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Patiently wait. Right? That's going to say in uh, uh, Lamentations. Wait patiently. Lamentations 3, verse 26. It is, a good, it is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of Yahweh. Right? We're waiting on the salvation. We're sighing and crying. Right? We're denouncing. We're, we're, we're rebuking, we're prophesying against America the Great. And this is happening all over the world at this very moment. Other camps are prophesying, other camps are doing the very same thing right now, this very second, this very minute. Right? 
prophesying the downfall of America the Great. Zephaniah 3 verse 8, and it reads, Therefore wait ye upon me, saith Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey. Right, until the day that I rise up to the prey. Who's the prey? America the Great. These are the nations, primarily America the Great. Right? For my determination is to gather the nations, right? And that's going on right now, right? The nation is being gathered in the Middle East, right? Gathered up the Valley of Jehoshaphat, the Valley of Decision, right? That I may assemble the kingdoms to pour Right, and this is why the gathering. This is why the gathering of the, the nations in the Middle East is taking is taking place to pour my indignation, even on my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Right, Yahweh is coming to lay waste to this place. Right, right. And that's it on that. I pray you edified. I don't want to stop. Stay prayed up. Pray without ceasing. Right. Rakath Yahweh, Rakath Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kadash. Stay prayed up, prayed all ceasing. Kwami Asharala, Wa Abad, Babal.